Hey gang, Cthulhu2 here with another Steam tutorial for you. So last time we were talking about booster packs and how to create them using gems. Today it's going to be a little more of a housekeeping type of tutorial, uh, how you can customize your Steam profile. Now you may be aware of some of the things you can do already, like putting in your own thumbnail image for yourself, and putting a little description about you or whatever, but there's a lot of other stuff you can do as well. Like up here, I have a featured badge next to my level. I have these different showcases that I can use to show off things that I enjoy, like the badges I've collected, and the achievements I've collected, and things of that nature. So let me show you how to do that. It's actually really easy. If you know how to find your profile, you're halfway there. Basically, you hover over your name and you can click profile <laughs> or you can also down in the lower right here if you see your name there or your face or whatever you can click that you get to your profile so obviously you've got this edit profile button so check that out so here you can set your name and all that jazz all the basic stuff but as you scroll down a little bit more you get to the more interesting things you've got your profile background featured badge you can have a primary group you're a part of, and then your showcases. Now, you unlock more showcases as you level up. So, higher level, you'll be able to show off more things. So, let's start from the top here real quick. Ba profile background. When you click Select Background, you're only going to have Steam backgrounds available. As far as I know, you can't upload your own images. And I'm sure that's just so they can kind of uh, prevent certain unsavory type <laughs> profile backgrounds from showing up on their platform. And the way you get these is by crafting badges using your trading cards. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, then click on the annotation or check out the description. I will have a link to an earlier tutorial I made about exactly that, about crafting badges using your trading cards. When you craft a badge, you will get some little bonus things, a background and an emoticon and a few other tidbits as well. So these are backgrounds I've held on to. I've sold off a lot or broken some down into gems, but I've held on to ones from games that I really enjoy, like Bastion, The Walking Dead, Binding of Isaac. I've got a couple different ones from that. Oh, and then Rebirth and some holiday ones, and I'm currently using my Terraria background. So it's just as easy as that. You have backgrounds that you've unlocked, you click on them there, and then boom, you got it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to Terraria for now. Uh, so it's similar thing with the badge. When you craft badges, then you have badges available, and you can see I have 39 available badges to choose from to select my featured badge. And I'm going with Cthulhu Cosplayer, because I'm Cthulhu too, and I pretend to be Cthulhu, sort of. <laughs> so that badge is perfect for me. That came from the game Cthulhu Saves the World, I believe. But if you click on if you click on the select badge, it'll show me all those 39 badges I have available. So I've got uh, I've got stuff from stacking. I've got stuff from Binding of Isaac. I've got stuff from, let's see, Spelunky, there we go. All the different ones I have collected. And whichever one you're most proud of, you can feature that on your profile. Similarly with the group. Uh, there's a one-to-one -one trading group. I'm a group of a couple other little things here and there. I don't really do a whole lot with groups, but there's that. And then the, 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 the showcases are a little more interesting, I think. So I currently only have two available, as you can see, because of the level I am. But uh, it's, it's the same general principle as what we were doing up here. You can showcase different things that you want to showcase. These are the ones that you have uh, available to you. So like I already have rarest achievement down there, so that's why that's grayed out. But you can do game collector to show how many games you have, the DLC, all that. And then down here, you can choose games to feature. Um, I'm not a big fan of that one. You can do the same thing for item showcase. You can click on that. It'll bring up your inventory and you can show off items that you are particularly proud of. If you really like your sack of gems, 
you can you can feature that. <laughs> uh, let's look at a couple other ones. Items up for trade. That's really good. I've used that in the past. Like, hey, I have this stuff that I don't want, and maybe you have something I do want. So let's trade. So you can make those publicly available um, and visible to people to let them know that you are up for trading. Uh, let's see one more favorite guide. Interesting. So achievement showcase. I don't know why there's an achievement and a rarest achievement, but I guess, okay, so this one will let you choose exactly which achievements you feel most proud of and want to show off. And then it also gives you the stats of total achievements, how many games you've 100% completed with all their achievements, and then your average completion. So there you have it. You can choose those, you can set them up as you so desire, and you can show off some of what you've done here in Steam. Uh, let me get back to, oh balls, what did I have? Badge collector. There we go. Uh, so I've got like my, my stacking foil badge and a couple level two binding of Isaac types and community leader, all that good stuff. I enjoy those. So you can set all that stuff up as you so desire and hit save changes. And then Bob's your uncle. You can go back to your profile and you should see your beautiful showcases, your beautiful showcased badge and your beautiful background from whatever game you chose. So hopefully you found that interesting and entertaining. If you did, please consider leaving a like to show your support. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys again next time for another Steam tutorial.